All right, guys. Uh, did a little rewrap on on the inner core. I took the red wires off and I wrapped uh, uh, a bunch of the green wire on there. I left the uh, coil that was on the inner uh, bead uh, or core. I left that one on there. That's the 150 turns of the same wire, and uh, I'm doing pretty good. Um, still got the same battery set up here. Uh, switch. You notice I have a little fan here, uh, keep that MOSFET cool, but that's not the only reason. That fan is running off of this charge that's coming off of this. And along with that, now I showed, right, we have uh, 3.6 volts right now. It's a 12 volt fan, 1.6 watts. So if there was 12 volts, it would be 1.6 watts. Um, Along with that, I also have this 100 ohm resistor. You take that off. Let's see if you can hear this fan. Our voltage is up to 5 volts with the fan running. Um, she's running at about 3 kilohertz. Uh, I'm about to step her up and down to 15 and. Uh, 6,000 around those areas and see how it does. Um, this is the pulse we're getting on the output coil right now. Seems a little jumpy since I took out that capacitor or that resistor. Probably because of the fan. But see this capacitor? I put that across the output coil. It's a 0.33 microfarad and you can see the voltage is 4.9. Now we'll pull this out. She jumps down and this turns a lot cleaner. A lot cleaner without the cap is the strange thing. Um, let me put it back in. And we have uh, a little more little more pulsing going on so I guess it's becoming a resonant circuit and whatever ringing is happening I'm able to collect that ring at this particular resonance that's the only thing I can assume um, been messing around here with uh, different resistors and capacitors uh, to get the timing right for the uh, the on and off pulses um, let me see here We can get a cleaner shot. This thing goes higher frequency than I thought. I just hadn't looked at the instructions. It does do 20 megahertz. Um, let's see. I guess that's not really going to show us much. Yeah, you can see some there. That extra bubble that happens there. Now when I pull this cap out, She's more of a straighter up and down and uh, a little slope there with the peak in it. Okay, put the cap back in. You can hear the fan go up louder. That's actually blowing air. It's, it's actually doing something. Let's see. You can't see it there really. You can see when I bring it in, blows it down. But uh, anyway, I, that's a good thing. Uh, I'm getting a uh, good amount of output from from this. Um, I also put these biasing magnets on there. It's 4.7. Now if we take these off, she goes down quite a bit. So whatever's happening there, that's another ingredient that can be added to getting more output from this thing. Um, maybe magnets around the outside and the inside. Uh, maybe wrap the magnets as a toroid and just have it disappear. Uh, I don't know if that would work, but that would be pretty cool. Um, but yep, she's running a fan. I got a little 1000 microfarad cap and then 
when I want to see the higher voltages, I take this cap out because it's only 50 volts. Let's see, uh, maximum voltage we're putting out of this one right now. I'll take this load off. Thirty-three volts. Don't know why. It's getting some heavy voltage. Maybe my batteries are low right now. Let me let me check. Batteries might be low. Can't neglect the batteries. Oh yeah, batteries way low. I got some charging. back but you could probably hear it singing about 3,000 Hertz the audio should pick that up uh, 33 volts uh, she was up to like 60 earlier with uh, strong batteries but I was playing with the uh, the pulsing on this let's see okay now that we don't have a load we have this kind of uh, Just the capacitor back in. Where did I put it? Here we go. I'm just going to put this, let's see what this looks like. And now we'll put this capacitor back in. I lowered the voltage. I don't know why. Maybe that's a leaky cap. Or it has something to do with the resonance that's going on here. We can plug back in the fan. A uh, little mess. See, it's uh. Don't know if we'll be able to read that. I'm going to try it at different focus lengths. I really can't tell on the camera if you're going to be able to read it. Because it's at a single focus. Alright. Alright, we're going to take the fan off for now. I just had it set up there as a sort of a demo demonstration. I wasn't really using it to uh, cool this. Uh, it gets warm. Um, I have some different ones different lengths. I got all my little parts here. I uh, wanted to show some other things. Uh, this was an ore bagel and uh, it's it's not working really well and one thing I have to think about and I, I thought at first you know maybe just wrapping the core and then putting uh, the pickup on the outside that doesn't work. It works much better the way this one's done with the pickup wrapped underneath the toroid. And then with just some stuff you can get out of different things. These are some small little toroids. they got to be cleaned of glue. This is a tiny little one that's already wrapped with some. I've seen some pictures on the thread here about this here. And uh, get some, uh, some of these. And uh, you have some nice pathways for the magnetic field and just find the right size magnets um, without having to uh, get any custom made cores or anything. But you can get into this with just some stuff. And this was another cord that I tried that I had the inside wrapped with really fine wire. The outside I went with thick and uh, results weren't so great. I've tried, uh, I've rewrapped re these things quite a bit, but this one was working very good right now, so I'm getting closer. All right, guys, talk to you later.